Hello, Quincy Mayor Tom Koch here with a little bit of an update on a couple of issues. Uh, first of all, congratulations to everybody out there working so hard to get our numbers down. Vaccinations are happening. Spring is here, and the numbers do look good. We're still in the yellow. Still a number of communities that are in the red. Uh, obviously, we're hoping to get to the green very soon, uh, and we're grateful for everybody's efforts on getting through this time period. Spring is here. A lot going on in our city. Uh, it's good to see the school sports out there, kids having a good time uh, and enjoying themselves on the parks and playgrounds. I did want to talk to you a little bit about an issue that I think I spoke maybe on video a few weeks ago, and that's about the future of Quincy College. Uh, as you may know, or maybe you don't know, but there's an appropriation before the city council for acquisition of property of the Monroe Building, which is right next to the City Hall complex, directly across the street from President's Place. Uh, on the back side would be the Quincy Center T station. It's a two-story building that is old and tired, and we've been talking for some time about finding a permanent home for Quincy College. Quincy College has been around for 65 years. They've been leasing and renting in various locations around the city, which, uh, in my opinion, has not helped them really to set, uh, set roots down, if you will, and have some permanency to a location and also stability to those rent numbers. So what we've come up with is a plan that I think is an excellent plan for the future of the college, for the city, and that includes the acquisition of the Monroe Building. Now that site uh, is about $23 million for the acquisition plus the relocation, plus some of that money would go towards the design of a new building on that site, which would house Quincy College and uh, City Hall operations from the glass building. And I know there's going to be some more committee meetings before the City Council, but I certainly want to make you, the public, aware of what's happening there and why it makes sense. The glass building that we're in, uh, actually as I'm doing this video, uh, it was built in the late 70s and it needs everything. It needs a fire suppression, it needs a roof, it needs mechanicals, it needs a new elevator, and the windows are failing. So it, it needs some significant amount of work, about $16 million dollars over the next several years. So we're taking a hard look at, as part of the new building, City Hall being part of that new building. The, the offices that are currently in City Hall would go into this new building. The site where the City Hall is, and again, we're talking about the glass building, the granite building will be there hopefully forever. That will not be interrupted or touched. But the site of the glass building then becomes part of Hancock Adams Common with the other half of the footprint and the parking lot going over the tracks of the Quincy Center Station becoming a major development site along with other parcels over the air rights of the MBTA, which is going to bring in a lot more tax revenue, which is going to more than cover the loss of any tax revenue from the Monroe Building. Now back to the college itself. The college, as I talked about, has moved around for several years, and they have uh, some excellent programming. There's a lot of great success stories out of that college. It was started by the city 65 years ago. It's quasi-independent. It has some sep separate governance with the Board of Governors. Uh, and some separate powers. However, it's still a city municipal college owned by the city of Quincy. It's an asset uh, for the city of Quincy. Now, going forward, we know that the college um, competition is difficult. However, the population this college serves is very, very unique. Obviously, it's a great bargain. It's a great, uh, for those folks that are having their kids looking at college, you ought to look at it because this, uh, it's a college that provides some great opportunity at a much lower cost than what you normally would see. Many kids have gotten their associates and moved on to get their four-year degree somewhere. Some have gotten certificate programs. Some have gotten their nursing degrees here. It's been very successful. And the, you know, the population it serves is also 47% uh, people of color, or two-thirds of the population at school are on financial aid. So it serves a very unique niche. In fact, there's a number of veterans coming out of the the service that go over and get their educational credits there at the college for whatever uh, they may be pursuing professionally. So it has a great, great purpose and I think it's time to really cement its future by giving it a permanent home. So those folks that are a little concerned about the cost of it, the cost it does look a little scary as a number, but when you break it down that the college would be paying rent to the city, which would offset the debt service on their portion of the building, it really brings the number way down. So we can afford this. It gives the college a permanent home. It also, by giving them that annual rent number, that would be the same number for them going forward for the next 25 years. So instead of the rent going up every year on a private property, the cities would stay the same because they'd be covering merely the debt service and the maintenance of the building. We're not in it for profit like a private property uh, owner would be. So they can do much better modeling going forward, projections, and really deal with a, a, uh, uh, an excellent, in, in my opinion again, 
uh, an excellent business approach going forward because they think control uh, the future. Its destinies in, would be in their own hands. The college has gone through some tough times, as we know, uh, but it has bounced back. It's been here 65 years. I expect it to be around for 65 more. It gives our kids and kids of other communities a great opportunity that in many cases may not have that opportunity in higher education. So I certainly encourage you to tune in. If you have any questions on it, certainly you can call our office at 617-376-1990. Be happy to address it. I know it's going to be coming up on the council. If you attended Quincy College, you feel strongly about it. Obviously, if you work at Quincy College, uh, feel free to reach out to any city councilors. Let them know how important it is to you. Uh, it is an important part of our city. And finally, we had an economic study done on it. That college means millions of dollars a year to the city in the economic world, to the Quincy Center and to the region as well. So we're, we're certainly bullish on that aspect of it as well as we continue to build out, uh, build out Quincy Center. So with that, I, I thank you for tuning in. Again, feel free to check in if you have any questions on the college or any issue for that matter that we can be of help, please let us know. In the meantime, enjoy the good weather this weekend. Stay well. God bless.